As a background, non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, or NAFLD, is one of the commonest causes of chronic liver disease in the United States and worldwide. Hello, I'm Professor Rita Basu from the University of Virginia School of Medicine in Charlottesville, Virginia. As lead author, I am giving you a brief summary of the main points from the article titled Non-Alcoholic Fatty Liver Disease, Review of Management for Primary Care Providers. The progressive form of NAFLD, called non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, or NASH, is a leading indication for liver transplantation. Comorbidities associated with NAFLD and NASH include type 2 diabetes, obesity, metabolic syndrome, and dyslipidemia. NAFLD is associated with an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and chronic kidney disease. Also, extrahepatic morbidity and mortality are significant. Primary care providers are often at the front line in identifying and assessing individuals with suspected NAFLD. They will be seeing growing numbers of patients due to the increasing prevalence of obesity and type 2 diabetes. The key questions to consider in primary care are, does the patient have NAFLD or something else? If NAFLD is diagnosed, what is the patient's risk of developing clinical complications? Use non-invasive testing to stage liver fibrosis, then manage the patient appropriately as outlined in the article. So what are the issues in NAFLD? Prompt diagnosis of NAFLD and determination of the patient's risk of liver fibrosis are critical to improve outcomes. Clinical action is necessary if NAFLD is suspected, even if the patient's liver biochemistry is normal and they have no symptoms. Liver biopsy is the gold standard for diagnosing NASH, but is invasive. Several non-invasive biomarkers are also being used. Advanced liver fibrosis is the central determinant of liver-related mortality and requires aggressive clinical management. To date, no pharmacologic agents have been approved by the FDA for the treatment of NAFLD or NASH, although several agents are in clinical development. Current management focuses on reducing underlying obesity and metabolic derangements and the assessment and control of cardiovascular and metabolic risk factors. To conclude, our article describes a pragmatic approach to the evaluation, diagnosis, and management of NAFLD and NASH in the primary care setting. We also included a supplementary video animation showing the broader effects of NAFLD and NASH on the cardiovascular and renal systems, and a plain language summary to help make the content accessible to non medical people, such as our patients and caregivers. We hope you find these materials useful. Thank you. We hope you found this presentation from the content of our website valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our homepage is www.mayoclinicproceedings.org. There you'll find access to information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about Healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.